Hey, dude, I turned your automatic gearbox into a manual one for the funds. That be ironic or what? At this point, Sam notices that Death isn't really a nice guy. I guess I should teach you how to drive a stick, huh? <laughs> Alright, so, when starting the car, you want to press down the clutch pedal. Nobody has clutched anything for years. Good luck, Sam. Now, while you have the clutch down, press the gas pedal. As you let go of the clutch, the car will start moving in biz. Good job, dude. You ain't as useless as you look, know what I mean? Now, to stop, you gotta move your right foot to the brake pedal. Left for us, he means. And obviously, press it down. Give stopping a go, dude. Nice! Now, start driving again, like I showed you. And obviously, you turn left and right with your arms. If you want to drive faster, you gotta use the stick, baby. To upshift, you press down the clutch and then yank the stick. <laughs> Obviously, you can't turn left when your hand be on the stick. So to turn left, you have to move your hand back to the steering wheel, y'all. And so Sam and the Lord of Damnation are on their merry way towards a new adventure. Together. Cozy. Dude, there be an old lady on the road. Oh, go right back. We almost killed that lady. She ain't due for another... a few hours. Listen, if you kill somebody before their time because I messed up your motoring skills, I will be in deep feces, okay? So keep your eyes on the road. If you almost kill someone, I'll stop the car, yo. But then, you'll have to start it all over again with the clutching biz. Hey, we'd be good to go. Anyway, dude, you're probably wondering why all this biz be happening to you. To tell you the truth, bro, it be all part of bureaucratic bull feces. The shreds of life you give to those gatekeepers to get into hell, yeah, they be distributed between the bank of hell and Satan. Oh, yeah, dude. The big right, yo. Oh, As I was saying. Oh yeah, dude. The big S. Then the Bank of Hell distributes their share as salary among the citizens of Hell. Do you know how much my salary be? A little less than a burger flipper at Mickey Do Laugh. Close one. As I was saying. A little less than a burger flipper at Mickey Demons, yo, and a little more than an elementary school teacher. You know what I- Right, dude? Ah! Oh. Anyway, you know what I be saying? Up high. Never mind. A soul has one- that Holy feces! Anyway. A soul has one, maybe two shreds on him depending on his life quality. And I don't want to point fingers, but someone here be a spoiled brat, bro. Dude, what be that gray cloud in the middle of the road? Oh, feces! That be a whole school of old ladies. Get ready! Right! Ah! Yo, go left! Ah! Right! Oh! Ah! Left! Ah! Yo! Ah! What be up with all those old ladies today, bro? Hey, Sam. You're never gonna make it to work on time with all these grannies everywhere, dude. What do you say we take a shortcut? <laughs> Go left. And so Sam drives the car to a place 
city has never been before. A place called Bridge Street. Oh, 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 oh dude. I hope it be safe here. Hope there be no, say, crazy gang members here or nothing. No, really though. Where be the crazy gang members? Oh, crazy gang members. Oh, excuse me. You be a crazy gang member? Ooh, don't you worry. I know where the crazy gang members be. To Death's surprise and Sam's relief, the gang members are lying dead on the ground. This is when Death notices a distinct silhouette in the distance. What be the deal, bro? Why be there? Oh, oh my Jesus. The silhouette is contention and enmity, bloodshed and hostility, strife and strike, struggle, battle, war. She is neither wearing dumb clothes nor doing kickflips. She is just standing there after a job well done. Oh, holy feces, holy feces, it be her! I'll be my breath. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Okay, just don't be yourself. Hey, war, how it be going, babe? Wanna hitch a ride in these sweet wheels? I tell the one that can be killed, but will to get me well. I pass right to face the seal and dump the slip it at all. I kill the one. Oh, holy feces, here she comes. Hey, girl, where to? Just shut up and take me to the metro. Aren't you supposed to, like, reap a bunch of people, you knucklehead? I was, I was. But then I got bored, so now I hang out with my buddy Sammy here. Ain't it right, Sammy? Stop here. Okay, we can go. So instead of guiding endless amounts of confused souls to the afterlife, you waste time with this dumb, ugly mortal. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Yeah. Hey, hey, you want a cigarette? Ugh, you're so annoying. You know I'm trying to quit. <sighs> Fine, give me one. I hate you. Go right here. Stop here. Okay, let's go. Hey, guess what? I totally landed a kickflip today. Take a left. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Wow, you really landed a kickflip? That's kind of hot. Yeah, or, well, I almost landed a kickflip. You know, famine can do a frontside kickflip. Such a show. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Oh, dang it, the grandma's be back. Left. Ah! Right. Ah! Left. Ah! Yo! Ah! Left. Ah! Oh. I'd never be getting used to those grannies. Stop here. This is where I get off. Hi, babe. I'll see you around. Whatever. <sighs> what you be looking at? Oh, snap! You be getting late for work, bro. Step on it as hard as you can if we gonna make it. Go, go, go! Yo, faster, faster! Faster, faster! Yo, dude, faster! Faster, dude! 
get up to fifth gear. Almost fast enough, dude. Step on it. Almost fast enough, dude. Step. Oh, feces. Stop, stop. Uh. Feces, did we kill somebody? Oh, please let it just be a rock or a hipster or something. Sam goes out the door oh. to see what happened. Man, oh. He only has to follow death's crying voice. <laughs> this guy wasn't due. He wasn't due. What be I gonna do? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Sam. Can I borrow your last shred of life? Blink twice if yes. I guess we're doing this. Yo, 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 let's do a deal that we can seal, yada, yada, yada. Uh, slap your salmon 57 times in 24 hours or you'll be dead forever. Now, get out of here. <gasps> <gasps> I just had to. Anyway, let's get out of here. Weird. It's another busy day in Robocorp Inc where they produce automatic robots for fun, convenience, and most importantly, safety. Finally, Sam makes it to work, and only by having the most terrifying morning of his life. He waggles towards the entrance, still shaky after the events of his trip. Oh, after I blew my nose off in a laser accident, they gave me a robot nose. Ah, Robocorp's proudest and newest invention, the MaidBot. Awesome. It is rumored to have over 3,000 functions, including pest control, rest control, and guest control. And it can make you a nice cup of coffee. For the seven billionth time, Sam has lost the key card to his office and has to request a new one from reception. Sam focuses all his brain energy on trying to speak well-formulated sentences. Uh, hello, Mr. Samuel. How can I help you? I... I... Very good, sir. Uh, was there anything else? You are a wordsmith, Sam. Of course, sir. Try not to lose it again. Sam takes the card and heads for his office. The elevator is occupied. Sam has no time for waiting. And then... He meets his old nemesis, Stairs. Sam goes in the third door to his office area. Yeah, it is a dangerous job, but the health benefits are awesome, dude! I blew off my leg. This is Ingrid, Sam's secretary. Since Sam never gets any calls or does any actual work, Ingrid has a level 80 warrior in every game ever made. this one after my 16th laser accident. Honestly? Yes, Sam. Do the splits. They'll respect you more. Sam. 
Sam's office. A waste of space, according to everyone ever. Sam doesn't do much at work, simply because his father doesn't let him. According to Samuel Sr., he only has to show up, shut up, and not mess up. This gives Sam plenty of time to sharpen his skills on his favorite game, Flappy Rooster. Yes, he has one here too. Sam decides to try and beat his record of 10,000 points. Someone knocks on Sam's door. It is Ingrid. Uh, Mr. Samuel, Mr. Welfenberg wants to speak with you. Also known as Samuel Sr., Sam's dad. He seems kind of angry. Take the elevator to his office. We've seen Sam do weirder things. <gasps> the soothing elevator music sets the mood for productivity and not asking questions. All of Sam's interactions with his old man have lately been reduced to short meetings in his office. <sighs> Sam has done weirder things to impress his dad. This is Samuel Sr. He owns Robocorp Inc. And he is tired of the fact that Sam is always late to work. Sam is keeping the morale of his company down, and it is time for him to work for his money. No more fancy offices. You are starting at the bottom. Today, you start as a lithidium inserter in the storage room. Go down to the basement and get to work. Samuel Sr. pretends he didn't see that, as always.